Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to the first video of 2024. I really hope you all had a very good start of the new year and I'm really excited to be filming this here again. I'm really excited to making outfits, making content and of course have a lots and lots of fun here over my YouTube channel with you. In today's video, we are going to have like a try out a new brand or review kind of video. And the brand that we're going to review is called Belle Poke. So this video is also in collaboration with them. They kindly asked me if I wanted to do a review video. And I said yes to that opportunity because Belle Poke sells vintage inspired items. And if you have been following me for a while, then you know that I kind of like vintage. I can really appreciate a good vintage outfit. Sometimes I like recreate a little bit of vintage vibes. So yeah, I really like the opportunity to review some of their items. Bell Poke, like I said, sells vintage retro inspired items all the way from the 1940s until the 1970s. Also, their items are really affordable. You do not have to break the bank if you want to shop there. They sh their shipping is worldwide. And if you like anything in today's video, then you can use my discount code for 20% off your order. So if you like vintage vibes, you can go over on their website, have a little look around, um, take my honest opinion under advisement. And uh, let's see if you can find something that you would like. Of course, as always, I would love it if you join me here over on my community. So please hit the subscribe button if you're new here today. I would absolutely love it. And do not forget to give the video some love by giving a thumbs up because that will also mean the world to me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the outfits that I'm going to style up today. I'm going to style the items uh, with some of my own items. So you will see some of my own items and some of the new items from Belle Poke. And I really hope that you will enjoy the video. I'm going to start off with the first item, which is this cardigan that I'm wearing right now. So I picked this out for a couple of reasons. First of all, I love the color, of course. It's a really versatile color. It's like this creamy white. And you can pair this up with basically any color, with basically any um, bottom. So you can wear it with like mini skirts. You can wear it with midi skirts. You can wear it also with jeans if that's kind of more your style. Second of all, I really loved the design of this one. So we have like this color here and we have like a ripped material and there's also like even a little bit of a design in the ripped material, which I really like. And then it is actually the waist that really did it for me. So I'm pairing it up with this, this, with this waist belt because that is also what I saw in a lot of the pictures on the website. But actually the cardigan itself also has like a divine waist. And that's really something that I really love. The, the model of this particular cardigan is so feminine that I really was sold on, on it. Um, so yeah, really happy with this one. Also the quality of this one is great. I've been wearing it all day and it was quite a cold day and I was not cold uh, in this one at all. The only thing is that um, it's quite has like an open neck. So if you are like me and you feel a little bit, little bit exposed, you can wear a little bit of a necktie. Also gives it really like a vintage uh, touch. And um, you can also, of course, wear something underneath it um, with a higher neck. Also, it's important if the sizing is correctly. So I got this in a size small and yeah, it fits me really well. It fits me uh, well around my arms, around around my waist and like this peplum detail, uh, the length is just great. For the next look, I kept on the cardigan, but now I'm pairing it off with this midi skirt also from Belle Poke. And now you can actually see how open the neckline is in this look. Um, I think it is super feminine on the one side, but on the other side, it is a little bit exposed for my taste. But you, like I said, you can wear this in many ways. I'm now pairing it up with all like brown items, brown tint items, so that we're matching the skirt. The skirt actually has lovely details here over on the top area with these, these buttons here. But this is not the cardigan that you put in. So I had to like, um, yeah styled up late like this. The midi skirt has a fine length. I think this is a perfect length for a midi skirt that also has pockets. And I really like the design here with the buttons that I just shown you. The only thing about this skirt is that it is really thin. So it is not lined and that means it also is not really warm. 
and because of the color it is definitely an autumn winter skirt but yeah it's, it's just not really doing much for me i thought that the color was really versatile because this brown shade is something that you can wear with a lot of things you know like a little bit of a camel color camel brown and and i think that it looked really cute in the pictures that i took and um, because you might recognize this one over from my instagram it is really like i said a thin material so the shape of it is not really there it just kind of like hangs there and it does not really do a lot for my body. For this look I am styling it up with a beret because I also think that adds already a lot for a vintage look. Then I have this cute little bag which has always given me vintage vibes. I've said, said that over on my channel already a couple of times. Then I have this lovely scarf that has like the camel color inside. So yeah, that matches also pretty cute. And then I was actually also wearing these little boots from Bon Prix because I really liked it with the boots. It also gives me, like I said, more vintage vibes. So yeah, with the whole look and all, um, I think it is a lovely outfit for taking pictures. I'm not 100% sure if I would actually wear this outside in my day-to-day -day life. But yeah, for now, the cardigan is an absolute win, but the skirt, I'm not 100% keen on. So here I am with the second look and this is the look where I get really out of my comfort zone uh, color wise and also style wise so let me talk you through it. You might actually recognize this look over on my Instagram because I actually did a post in this exact outfit and I did really love the pictures. You know, I was really inspired by the look and I was really uh, inspired by the idea because I wanted to take the pictures in a vintage inspired area so I went to a, um, a library and that's where I took the pictures. Trousers are way too big for me. I love white leg trousers, you know. I have worn them already so many times over my channel. My last year in 2023, I was literally kind of like a little bit obsessed with them because I was really liking them so much. Uh, I ordered these in a size medium on purpose. And usually a size medium might be a little bit too big or something, but I could still wear them. But this one is so big that I have to like clip it in from the back, like so much fabric. So unfortunately, I will not be able to wear this in my day to day life because I actually do really like the model of it however the material of the trousers is again so so thin again with the a midi skirt so you will see all the lines um, underneath this one you have to wear special underwear so like for example like those little boxer sh boxer um, shorts you will not see them the biker shorts I mean sorry I think you should have to wear those underneath them you cannot tuck in your blouse so i tucked in my blouse underneath my bra so like upwards instead of downwards and the model is really there i love it with like the buttons and they're also really comfortable because from the back they are like elastic they have like an elasticated waist so that is really comfortable to um you know to have on all day and it does really um has the potential of being a great trouser for the other season however now the top half part Yes, the top half part is different, but I like it. I like it so much. So for example, this vest is top notch quality. Absolutely gorgeous. It is lined, the buttons are good. Uh, it has the great design. And I think even, even if you would just wash this and iron it, it will definitely keep its shape. One of the many reasons why I wanted to um, try this one is that I was really drawn to the color. I can't really explain why because I'm not actually that person that goes for green all the time but I saw it and I was really really drawn to it so yeah, like I said quality wise I really do like it and I also think it looks really nice with uh, pink and white I think the color combination is absolutely um, you know perfect actually also from the back it is nice excuse my microphone and um, the little weird wind thing with the trousers but there is actually this little uh, tie that you can actually make it also fit it, you know, around your waist. So that is why this vest top is an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. So style wise, I would have chosen this lovely new pinko bag in my collection, which was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend. And uh, just these lovely little ankle boots that will um, really match with the whole look. And this is a lovely little blouse that I can wear in so many ways. You just saw how cute it looks with a little vest on top. And now you can just see um, the full length of it. It has lovely little shorts 
sleeve so again great for like the spring um, summer season but even in autumn winter I can wear this because I also love to wearing it underneath cardigans and then you have like this little pussy bow that then sticks out and I'm not quite sure what the material is it feels it feels really good and the pussy bow here on the top is absolutely stunning Ning. You know when you sometimes have a blouse and you have to do a bow like 600 times because it just won't fit, it won't sit and with this one I only have to do it once or twice and it just sits and yeah that's absolutely lovely. It has lit lovely little buttons also in a white color. It's a really basic piece that you can mix and match with lots and lots of other um, different things. So the sizing of this one is is good. I got this in a size uh, S and it fits me really good and it is also not really see-through. It's ever so slightly see-through but for example you cannot see my bra through it uh, or my skin or something. You will see the trousers through it but that's okay. Um, yeah so for me this is definitely a, a lovely lovely blouse and I'm very very happy with it. The last item of the video is this ginormous petticoat. It was standing here really pretty in the back background but it's actually part of of the video so I ordered this actually for fun because of course I'm not going to wear this actually in my day-to-day -day life but I thought it could be really nice for maybe um, pictures or maybe the festive holiday although we just have it we can always um, make new outfit ideas for this year so yeah I thought it was really cute and I'm also going to style it up so it is really a lot and lots of layers of tulle uh, and I've chosen the white one. They also had a black one but I chose the white, the white one. This also comes in a size S and it fits me really well. However, it is very, very elasticated so I think a lot of people will actually uh, fit this no matter what your size is. But for me, it's really comfortable. Of course, uh, because it's in a white one, it's pretty see-through. But I think that's also normal for petticoats. So yeah, I'm just gonna style it up with two different skirts so you get an idea. So my first option was this lovely red skirt and you all know the red skirt this is from Chicwish and it just gives me like Christmas vibes with the right, the white and the red and I just like it with the tool coming out underneath. Uh, it just makes it really cute and festive in my opinion and it gives this skirt really a lot more volume already. This skirt had already like volume on its own but yeah now it has even like more volume. If you do it like this it is just absolutely adorable. So now as you can see you can actually no longer see the petticoat. Uh, if I uh, take out the skirt you can actually see that it's underneath and yes I think it gives this skirt more volume so it does like do the job but I'm not 100% keen on this. I actually really liked it a little bit better with the red skirt, but obviously you can make your own opinion. Um, so yeah, you can see it a little bit better here. Uh, then, now, then it actually comes out underneath a little bit and that's actually what I really like to see. I like when you can still see it a little bit. So yeah, that is just my first personal uh, preferences. So here we are at the end of the video. Here we are at the end of the first video of 2024. I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. I really hope that you've enjoyed the review. If you've seen anything that you like in today's video, then you can use my discount code for 20% off. Everything will be in the description box linked down below for you, of course. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite look. Let me know what you thought of the items. Would love to hear from you. And if you're new here, then do not forget to give the video some love by giving a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe button. And I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye now.